Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I've got Millie, and we're going to be doing a quick refresher. Now, Millie's back for some training, and we just want to check up on her skills, see how they're doing, and see what needs improving. So I'm going to go ahead and start with sit and down. So I'm just going to drop the leash right here and toss some treats just to warm Millie up. Millie, sit. Yes, good girl. I'm going to treat multiple times to imply that stay. But I like how Millie went straight into a sit. Okay, she didn't try to go down. She didn't try to walk around first. Just immediate sit, really nice response time. We're going to do that again. Millie. Sit. Uh-uh. Now if Millie sits down, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my foot right under. Yes right under her chest until she pops up. That just encourages the dog to sit up versus just stand up. Tap on the head, okay. We're gonna do that one more time because I'm not a fan of how she laid down. Millie, sit. Yes, uh-uh. Yes, good girl. You see she immediately fixed herself. Just tap on the head, okay. So you can see her sit is something that we definitely can continue working on as she does have a little bit of confusion going on there, but it's a very easy fix, very common, especially in puppies like Millie. Now we're gonna work on her down. Once again, just tossing some food to reset her. Boop, boop, boop. Millie, down. Yes, good girl. And I'm treating multiple times to imply that stay, just lower to the ground. Tap on the head, okay, we're gonna do that again. Millie, down. Yes, good girl. Tap on the head, okay. That was really nice for Millie. You see she's going straight down. I do want to work on getting her a little bit closer to us, but still really nice reaction to the command. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick up the leash and we're going to practice some, some loose leash walking. Now rules for loose leash walking are as follows. There is no pulling, no dragging, no sniffing the ground allowed for Millie. So I'm going to do. And we always start the same way with the dog's name and then the command. So it's going to be Millie. Let's go. Really nice, and right off the bat, I love the eye contact that Millie's giving me. This is really nice, and you see she's setting a really even pace, and I'm putting almost non-existent pressure on the leash. You can see I'm holding it with my fingertips, and Millie is not pulling, she's not dragging. Really nice job. We're gonna do a couple laps. Come on. Once again, I would like to work on her getting a little closer to us. As you can see, she's walking a little further than I'd like. Good. Good girl, Millie. Very nice pace for Millie. And to stop, I'm just going to say her name and then take a couple extra steps. So it's going to be Millie. And she's offering an automatic sit. Really nice job for Millie. We know what to work on. The biggest things being on reestablishing her sit and just getting her in general to become closer to us when doing commands, but still really nice job for Millie. She did awesome today. Good job. Good job. Come on. Good girl.